Now see the Mi-17 V5 approaching the drop zone. After evaluating the nature of the ground and obstructions around, the pilot opts to deploy the special forces from a low hover jump. Ladies and gentlemen, notice the helicopter as the pilot using his superior skills is making a deliberate approach to establish a pinpoint hover on the landing spot. helicopter stabilizes in a low hover just inches above the ground the commandos swiftly jump out of the aircraft quickly moving to the sides to take defensive positions notice how current commandos take control of the landing area and scan for any threats ladies and gentlemen in no time the entire squad in vicinity of the enemy radar helicopter departs at low level to avoid any detection by the enemy the Garuds, meanwhile, are forming up in a tactical squad and proceeding to the target area. While this team makes its way to the target, let us showcase to you another SHPO for which our special forces and helicopter pilots regularly train. You might recall the 2611 Duster Lee attacks in Mumbai, during which a helicopter was used to slit a commandos onto a rooftop. Now here you can see a Mi-17 V-5 with Garud Special Forces on board to demonstrate how they can deploy troops on any tall building in our cities and neutralize terrorists hiding inside. Ladies and gentlemen, please look to your right. The small two-story white building depicts a high-rise in any one of our cities where a few terrorists have hold up holding civilian hostage. The helicopter comes to hover over the roof. The flight gunner has released the rope from the helicopter and Garud start to slither down from the roof. Ladies and gentlemen, to slither down from the helicopter, the Garud commandos are equipped with special mittens to avoid blistering of hands. Notice that Garud commandos are not secured by any safety lines and they have to rely entirely on training and strength of their arms. Watch now as two Garud descend through power ascenders plays explosive charges on the windows. Notice how quietly the Garud commandos have lowered themselves down and are placing the charges on the windows. And as quietly they are sent back to the roof. Notice the daredevilry and the superhuman training as now the sole party of four troops of Garud Special Forces rappel down to neutralize the unsuspecting terrorists. Reaching above the windows, they pause. Detonating the charges, the Garud swing in through the shattered windows. The terrorists hold up inside are caught by surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, all the terrorists have been neutralized. Meanwhile, the second team can be seen approaching a door in the adjacent building. You can now see the demolition expert place a breaching explosive charge on the door. The Garuds now enter the building. They have cornered the terrorists. The elite Garud commandos have neutralized the terrorists. Mission over. The two teams form up and withdraw along with the rescued hostage. Meanwhile, our first team of Garud Special Forces has located the enemy radar and is now approaching their objective. Four buddy pairs uh, had established a support fire base at an advantageous height, some distance away from the radar. The main assault party can be seen moving silently in tactical formation towards the target. Demolition experts in the team fix demolition charges on the radar. The rest of the team maintains eye on the surroundings. Charges planted. The team quietly withdraws and makes its way for the pre-planned extrication point. Enemy not suspecting a thing. 
The radar is put out of action, creating the vital blind corridor that our fighter missions require in this area. This mission is a part of the Garud's primary role, which is termed as destruction of enemy air assets. War demands concentration of force at the right time and at the right place to tilt the balance of battle. The Indian Air Force has this ability of changing the equation of a land battle by rapidly inserting troops and weaponry through the medium of air. Aircraft like the AN-32 and now the C-130J, regularly trained to land on advanced landing grounds or any disused airstrip. At the Army's behest, our commander has quickly planned such an assault landing by a C-130J, Super Hercules close to the battlefield which shall now be demonstrated on the advanced landing ground right in front of you. The Indian Air Force's C-130J Super Hercules is a highly integrated and sophisticated configuration. Primarily designed to support India's special operations requirement, equipped with infrared detection set, the aircraft can perform precision low-level flying, airdrops, and landing in blackout conditions. The aircraft also is equipped with air-to-air -air receiver refueling ca capability for extended range operations. The C-130J is not just a cargo transport. Its range of missions include special operations, aerial refueling, search and rescue, Paradrop, electronic surveillance, and even weather re reconnaissance. The C-130J allows the Indian Air Force to operate the aircraft autonomously, day or night, and in all weather, anywhere it needs to go. Look towards your right, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the aircraft flying in. To avoid being detected by any radar that may be present in the vicinity, the aircraft has come in at low levels. You can now see the aircraft putting up a bank. It is slowly aligning itself to land on the strip right in front of us. Notice how the aircraft is coming in at low levels. It is aiming to touch down in the least possible time. And here, the aircraft touches the ground and rapidly starts to decelerate. While offloading the troops, the aircraft will keep its engine running for a quick departure. Ladies and gentlemen, Keep your eyes towards the rear of the aircraft. The ramp opens. And swiftly and steadily, the Garud starts to jump off. Every Garud commando has his eyes scanning the vicinity for any threat. The Garud commandos are trained extensively for these kinds of operations. The special forces fan out along the strip, securing it. The ramps start to close and the aircraft accelerates to reach the other end of the advanced landing strip. The C-130J Super Hercules gives our Air Force tremendous flexibility in planning and executing not just special operations like this, but also our tactical airlift capability and reach. During humanitarian assistance and disaster relief or 
HADR operations. The possibility of innovative employability of this versatile platform for a variety of operations is endless. The aircraft now gears up for a maximum power short field takeoff. Notice the extremely short distance that the aircraft shall take to get airborne. 